Savior, you are here, mighty God, you are here, you are here for us, Jesus, you are here, Savior, you are here, mighty, mighty God, you are here, you are here for us, Savior, you are here, mighty God, you are here, Jesus, you are here, you are here for us. Psalm 103, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name, who crowned thee, verse 4, with loving kindness, with loving kindness. We are looking at that word, what does it mean? What does it mean that God has crowned us with loving kindness? The word love, we have used the word affection to say a lot of things. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and we want to continue here and then close this verse 4 on God's loving kindness by saying that the word loving kindness taken from the word love means that God has chosen to cherish us in Nigeria. He's holding us there. He's holding you, holding the nation and the nation's world there. That you are a treasure. That you are delightsome. You are a delight. Your life will be a delight. My life will be a delight in the name of Jesus. And so we'll just, let's close the verse with the prophetic. To say that God has chosen to adore us. He has chosen us to deck us with his loving kindness, with his goodness. That when men look at us, when men look at Nigeria, they will see God's glory on you. They will see God's glory on me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare and decree that Nigeria will not be deserted by her citizens, but will be attached to her. When you love something, you are attached to it. We'll be attached to our nation. We'll be attached to our various spouses in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There will be no separation. No. No. That husband, that wife, you won't separate from your wife. No. But the love will grow more and more and more and more. We translate that love to our nation, Nigeria, to say that the love of our country, Nigeria, will not diminish. We won't say, I hate Nigeria. I dislike Nigeria. I don't like Nigeria. There's nothing like that. We love her. We love her. It is some people that have come to make us to hate with the activities. But we say no to the activities. And we say that these activities are strange and foreign to us. It cannot be. It cannot happen. We reject them. We say no to them. And we stand in the gap, in the place of prayer and the word, to declare and decree that as others from el elsewhere have come to attach themselves to our country, we detach them. We remove their hands from our nation. Remove their legs from our nation. We cut off those legs. We cut off those hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. we say instead that the real Nigerians will be attached to her. You will love Nigeria. You will love your homeland. Uh -uh. Those people came and fought your land. That's why a, a place like Benue, please, Benue, Benue people, if you are listening to me, this is not the time to be fighting yourself. Fighting yourself. Why can't you come together? Come together. He said, you are fighting for land. Fighting among yourself. Is it not better your neighbor and you, you, you share together than an outsider come and displace you and you run away and leave it and they come and occupy? No, no, no. I keep saying it. Be attached to your land. Be attached to your neighborhood. Help the government. They cannot do it all. But offer yourselves. Go to the police station and say, you are un outnumbered. But we are here to offer our services to you to defend our area. Don't go and burn the police station, no. Don't go and burn them. Don't kill policemen, no. Ask them, how can we help? What can we do? They will tell you how far you can go. Close up your areas. So many road into it. You see, estates, for example, the estates. The estates have a lot of gates, a lot of gates, but they'll close all the gates so that anybody that enter, they will know. Who goes out, they will know. So that if there's anything, they can attack group together. 
Do like that. Don't leave all your place porous. Why should they be knocking from door to door? Door to door. Then you may, you'll be cowering. You'll be hiding in the toilet with your children. Close your child's mouth. Don't talk. Don't this. You should be outside in the night, guiding your area. You should be outside. Form vigilante. Have the police number. If there's anything, you call them. When they know you, they are prepared for you. They won't near you. Let us wake up. Let's be attached to our nation. Let's be attached to our neighborhood. Let's love our children. Love our husbands. You see. And so we declare it to be so in the name of Jesus Christ. We think the world of our husbands, the world of our wives, the world of our children, the world of our nation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We will treasure them. We will delight in them. We will release in our nation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We will savour it. There's good food in the land. The north brings our increase. The south brings it. The east, the west. Different, different food. Different, different food. Different, different food. Sometimes I'm looking at, when I go out and I see some people cooking, I'm looking, I say, what is this? How do you do it? How is it like? What is this? Because Nigeria is blessed. We are to serve what the riches, the richness of the nation in different plates on our page, Nation Building. We ask our children, cook your different, different food and bring We've posted it. It's there on Nation Building. You see there. Different, different food. They, they brought them. Dress in your attire. They did. And we posted it to say that Nigeria is rich. And we celebrate her diversity. We celebrate her rich culture in the name of Jesus. We take pleasure in Nigeria. We are devoted to Nigeria. We are fond of Nigeria. And God is fond of her too in the name of Jesus. And the fondness we speak in the name of Jesus. God will defend our nation. God will defend our nation. Our nation is beloved. Our nation is dearest to us. God will defend it. We will watch over it in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, we say thank you. We raise the standard against every satanic onslaught against our nation. We say no. She is beloved by her people. Her people will not desert her. We will not run and leave Nigeria in the name of Jesus. We will say and we will make it work. We will stay and we will fight corruption. We will stay. And just as the China... On nation building, I posted the clip of a small child. How they indoctrinate them to love their nation. A small child in, in, in China was crying you know, on the bed. Then they played their national anthem. You see how the child got up, stopped crying. I played another... There's another video again on nation building about China. There, they teach them, small, small children, how they take care of themselves, sweep their classrooms, take care of their classrooms, how they, they, they greet their elders. How? Giving their all to their nation. Nigeria will follow suit in the name of Jesus. Come and watch those two clips on nation building. Visit it and like it. On Facebook, we have a lot of clips for you. On Church on the Air, nation building, search the scriptures when you pray. Five pages, search them out. And on YouTube, we are loading videos there for you. Go like them. Subscribe to them. So, Nigeria, you are blessed. Nigeria, you are beloved. Nigeria, true love will not leave you. We refuse to leave you. And we declare and decree that you will be ruled correctly. You will be ruled correctly in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be wasted. You will not go under in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. With a passion, with a passion, we fight for you. We fight for you. And our youth, because they have the passion, that's why they want to go and demonstrate on the street. We say, don't go, because they are our known soldier. Why do we say, don't go? <laughs> we are not like the, the other people who put their children first, wear them suicide bomb and say, go, go and die. No, youth, our children, don't go. You will die, don't die. We need you. We need you. That you have that zeal to say, I want to go. You are the right ca candidate for Nigeria. You are the right rulers for Nigeria. That's why we are saying don't go, so that your life will not be wasted. So that that zeal inside of you, that fire inside of you, when you are preserved and protected and defended, you will grow, you will be nurtured, and you use it to change this nation. You use it to transform this nation. But when you go, unknown soldiers in Nigerian soldier uniform, but they are unknown, unknown. Why? Because government said they don't know them. They don't know where they came from. But immediately you are protesting. They will come and they will shoot you and they will kill you. Don't die. We need you. Be preserved. Be protected in the name of Jesus. This is for the nation. I was combining the two. No, I used to separate nation from family. We now pray love prayer for our family. 
This is for our nation. So if you love your nation, you wake up and pray. If you love your nation, you and your family will take, um, take time off, fast and pray for Nigeria. If you are a church and you love the nation, any program now outside Nigeria, 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 you're on your own. You're not doing the right thing. You should be praised for Nigeria, prayer for Nigeria, intercession for Nigeria. One thing or the other for what? For Nigeria. Magnifying Nigeria. Glorifying Nigeria. Asking God to intervene. Asking God to take a place. Encouraging the youth. Encouraging the men. Encouraging the women. Asking us all to rise up and take our place in the Committee of Nations. We'll take one more clip and call it a day for this morning. And that is prayers for our nation. We've prayed prayers now for our nation. We want to pray for our families. God bless you.